Hello everyone, this is the class of ECE350, the principles of automatic control. Uh, welcome. Today we will keep working on the Laplace transform. Last time we have studied the tables of Laplace transform. Right? Today we will uh, study some examples and uh, then learn some method on the calculation of Laplace transform. <coughs> All right, it's a uh, ECE three fifty. This is the lecture for the for the which week? The second week. Oh, it's not Monday. It's Wednesday, right? We have just have a. Uh, we just had a long weekend, right? We have a holiday on Monday, right? So this is for Wednesday. For Laplace transform. Okay, we consider some examples. The first one, suppose we have a signal G of T is given by a graph. Here's a one, two, a one, three, and five. And here's a one. Okay, this is G of T and this side is T. We want to find the Laplace transform. Laplace transform of a G of T. Okay, the G of S equal to what? Of course, firstly, you can check the table. If you can find it, find the G of T from the table, then you can get an answer directly based on the table, but unfortunately, this one is not in the table. So we have to use some different way to find the, the result. The first one, of course, we can use a definition, use a definition. So we can have G of S is the integral of G of T times E to the negative S T dT. This is the definition of the uh, Laplace transform. Then we plug in what are the values, what are the, you know, what is the G of T. So you see, you need to get G of T firstly. G of T in the graph, this is a graph. Then we try to write it in formula. This part from 0 to 1, when T runs from 0 to 1, G of T equal to, this is just a ramp, right? It's a ramp, and the slope is one, one by one, right? One and one, one and one. So this, uh, it is just t. Zero to one, and then g of t equal to just constant one, if uh, one to three, when t runs from one to three, and uh, then another ramp. This is also a ramp, but now the the slope is one over two, right? This is one. This side is one, and this side is two. So the slope is one over two, and direction is a decreasing, right? The slope is this decreasing slope, so it's a negative. Okay, so g of t is negative one over two times t, times t. However, this zero point. This point is this straight line. This is ramp. Start from here. This is zero, right? This is zero. Zero is at five. This point is at five. So this is a t minus five, like this. You can plug in. When t is a five, you get zero. When t is a three, you get a negative two over two with more negative. So it's a positive one, right? Two over two is one, positive one. So you get one. When t is a 3, it is 1. When t is a 5, it is 0. Okay, correct. Here, if this is a 3 to 5. Alright, 
Now we do the integral. We have three parts. The first part is t, and the t run from 0 to 1. Uh, sorry, I forgot the last this one. E negative st dt. And second part, 0 to t, this is 1 times e to negative st dt. And the third part, it is a. Uh, nah, nah, it's, I'm confused. Well, this is a 1 to 2, sorry. Second part is a 1 to 3. Not 1 to, one to, one to 3. And then from 3 to 5, it is negative 1 half times t minus 5 and e to negative st dt. Any more? Then 0. Right? After 5, it is just 0. So we do not have more terms. Right? If you want, you can add 0 integration of 0. That's nothing. Alright, we need to calculate. The first one is t times e to negative st. How to do this kind of calculation? Okay, it's an integral, right? You will check the derivative. We use this formula actually. This is a multiplication of two terms. We use uv prime equal to u prime v plus u and v prime. We have this formula. So this one, uh, this one, t times these. You can think t is the u and this is v prime t equal to u and the e to negative st equal to v prime so so this one is this term this term and this is v prime then what is v this will be negative 1 over s e to the negative st right yeah here t is the variable not s t is the variable we are the integral integral is for for t so t is the variable so we have v is this one. So this part, now this is this part, right? This part can be written in this way. So it is a 0 to 1 uv prime minus u prime v dt. And plus here I just copy. This integration, I have two parts, right? The first part is a u v prime, then derivative. Then you go back, right? So this part, after you do the integral, you get just u times v. So this is u times v, and the u u is t, and the v is negative one over s times e to negative st. Right? This is a u and v, u and v. U and V. U and V and uh, T will run from 0 to 1. So this is the, the first part. Let's, let's say this, like, this is a 1. Right? This is 1. And second part minus, right, minus integral from 0 to 1 and U prime. U is T. U is T. So U prime is 1. And v v is negative one over s times e to the negative st. Right, so u prime v is this one, and the dt. Okay, and the plus this one actually we can do some calculation. Right, this is e to the negative st. We do integral. I have negative one over s t. Uh, 1 over s times e to the negative st and the t run from 1 to 3 yeah, 1 to 3 okay. and this term I just copy and I put, put this here is minus 1 half and here is t minus 5 e to the negative st dt okay 
then the first term, this term, let's plug in t. The top side is a uh, one, the lower part is zero. So we're plugging one. I have one times negative one over s and e to the negative s, right? One plugging. And the minus when zero plugging, you get zero because here's a t. So this is just minus zero. And the minus uh, the plus one over s, right? This one over s, the minus here's a minus, so it's a plus. And the integral for t, so you consider just consider s and numbers, right? You don't need to consider it as a variable. You move it in front, and you have one over s. And the inside is a integral of e to the negative s t dt. And then this part, t is run from one to three, so this is a plus negative one over s e to the negative s times three s times 3 minus negative 1 over s e to the negative 1 times s right just s right? t is 1 is just s okay this is this part this part and this one okay what it is this one I can separate it as two part minus 1 half times 3 to 5 here's t e to negative s t dt and here's minus 5 right minus 5 here's minus so it's a plus plus 5 over 2 so plus 5 over 2 integral of 3 to 5 e to the negative s t dt all right keep working next this is a negative 1 over s e to the negative s 0 then I don't need it. and a plus 1 over s okay this part this part by integral I get a negative 1 over s e to the negative s t and the t run from 0 to 1 then this part minus 1 over s e to the negative 3 s and minus minus is plus so plus one over s e to the negative s uh, actually you find you can find these two are same right okay this one uh, where this one this one this one this one this is this this is this okay then this one you see we have we have same thing t times e to the negative s t again T times e to negative st. So we actually we have the same thing. We have the same thing. We still use the same way to do the calculation. So we have this part. But now uh, we have this part. But now the integral is from three to five. Three to five. Right? Three to five. So we rewrite this part. Noticing different is here is not zero to one. This is a three to five. And this part is related to here. This one related to here. So I just copy this. But I need to change this 0, 1 to 3, 5. 3, 5. Okay. So it is. Uh, which one? Oh, I have a negative 1 half as a constant in front of it. And then the inside part, it is just this part, this part, and change 0, 1, 0, 1 to 3 and 5. So it is a t times negative 1 over s e to negative s t t run from 3 to 5 and minus 3 to 5 1 times negative 1 over s and e to the negative s t dt alright so this is the uh, this part this part and then we have another part uh, we have a lot, you see. The other part is this one. This one is plus 5 over 2 times. This one is negative 1 over s e to the negative s t, and the t run from 3 to 5. this equal to 
All right. I need to do some simplify on these. Actually, I said this plus same, right? This two same plus and the minus, so they cancel. So we don't need these two terms. And then copy these. But I plug T in. So this is one over S. The first dot top T is one. So plus plug one in. So one over S e to the negative T. And then T equal to zero is minus negative one over S e to the zero. Right. This is e to the zero. E to zero. It is just one. Okay. So this is a one over S. This is this part. Okay, this is this one. Uh, I put the I put the check here. I did it. I, I did it and I did it. And this one just a copy is a one minus s e to negative three s. And okay, this one I can plug in the value minus one half five first line five top value is five so five times negative one over s and e to the negative 5t then minus 3 of negative 1 over s e to the negative 3t alright so this is a, this one this two and here's minus I put this negative 1 half in and I have plus 1 half and the integral of this now is a uh, okay for t right integral for t and this one over s can move it in front and then integral is this one so this one is a negative one over s times e to the negative s t and the t run from three to five all right okay this term this is also done right then the last term plus 5 over 2 times okay I plug in F this is uh, not F, F it's a, this is 5 5 negative 1 over S e to the negative 5 S and the minus negative 1 over S e to the negative 3 T times this n I have negative 1 over s square e to the negative t and times this together is minus minus I get plus 1 over s square and minus 1 over s e to the 3 uh, 3s huh? a little bit confused here Well, here's s, sorry. Right, t is, is one or zero, so here's s. So here's s, and the similar. Oh, I have I got confused by myself. Here's s. T is run from three to five, so t is changed to be three or five. This s. Uh, this is uh, this is t is fine. This s. This is also s. Negative term. 3 is S. Yeah. Sorry for that. Uh, okay. Now this one, this one, then minus this one. Right. 3 S. And this term, I times them together. Negative, negative. So it's a plus 5 over 2 times 1 over S e to the negative 5 S. And here, minus, 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 three minus, three negative. So combined together, still minus. And three over five, two, so three over ten. And e to the negative three s. Okay, so this is this term. And then, this one is negative one over two times one over s. And negative here's another negative, right? So it's a plus. And this one over s I can move in it in front, it's f s square. 
Then I have e to the negative s t, but the t is uh, run from 3 to 5. So 5 minus e to the negative s 3. OK, so this term is now. And last term, minus 5 over 2, 1 over s e to the negative 5 s. And uh, here's a minus, right? Here's a minus, yeah. Here's another minus, but a minus minus is a plus. So this is a plus 5 over 2 times 1 over s e to the negative 3 s. Uh, here's a s. This is a, yeah, I change this. I also need to change this. Okay, ah, there's still a lot. Can we merge some thing together? Let's see how many different terms do we have. We have 1 over s square. We have 1 over s square e to negative s. We have 1 over s e to the negative 3 s. We have 1 over s e to the negative 5 s. And just e to the negative 3 s. This is s square. 1 over s square e to negative 5s this is 1 over s square e to the negative 3s and this is 1 over s e to the 5 negative 5s and 1 over s e to okay so these two terms we have some early terms with same thing right 1 over s e to the 5 this one okay, these two are same 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 we can merge them together or they cancel you see? Negative two half, negative two half, uh, five, uh, five of her, five of her. These two cancel, and uh, this one is a uh, one over s. This this one, this two, right? This two, this two. They can can cannot cancel, but can merge it together. It's a minus one. So this is a five over two. I get a three over two, right? Three over two. 3 over 2. So I have negative 1 s square e to negative s plus 1 over s square. Now it's plus 3 over 2. 3 over 2 times 1 over s e to negative 3 s. And then uh, <coughs> this cancel. <coughs> Sorry. And this one. This one keep it. And this two keep it. Plus one half s one over s square e to the negative five s. <coughs> mm. ah, something. Minus one half one over s square e to the negative three s. This cancel is merged, okay. So the final answer should be this one. Every term are different, right? Can I merge them? No. Okay, so this is the final answer. Final answer. <coughs> you see? A lot of calculation, right? A lot of calculation, but it works. You, you just start from the definition, you can find this Laplace transform. Okay, now we check another method, which can use the table and use because your table, we can have less calculation. We'll go back to this one. This is original signal. I use the method two. We look at this signal. G of T. Let's go. This is a ramp. Then straight ahead. Right? This is a going down right this is this is first firstly is a ramp if you keep to be a ramp it will go forever like this now it turned it down to here keep the wire and down again and then if you keep working you are keep walking in the same direction you go here and then it going up so you see this curve you have three change of the direction like coming up and going down and going down and going up and each 
each each time when you change your direction, you think you have a ramp, right? This is a ramp. You start from a ramp, positive ramp, and then minus that ramp, you go back, and minus more ramp, you go to here, and then plus a ramp, you get here, you go to here. So you have one, two, three, four. You have four steps. So you can work like this. G of t equal to the first one is a ramp. Ramp is t times uh, just t, right? It's a t. Now if you want, you can put t times u s of t. Uh, by this way, t times u s of t equal to u s of t if, uh, equal to t if t is positive. And t u s of t equal to zero if t smaller than smaller than zero. We have this. So you times u s of t is same thing. In the positive sign, it's the same thing. And then you need a minus one. So you minus minus a ramp t times u s of but this ramp is a start at this point. It is a one t equal to one here. So it's a t minus one. Right? T minus one. And this t also, uh, also with 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 a shift. It's a t minus one. T minus one. Okay. You you have a negative ramp here, right? It is a this one minus this one this one minus this one then you get here's one here's one you get this one you got it? make sense? yeah you coming up if you keep coming up that is keep the ram is coming up but now you minus this minus this this one minus this. This one minus this. So you get a zero. You get not, You get. You get like straight there, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> then at this point, you minus another ramp again. So minus. Now this ramp is is a. This slope is a one half, right? This is two. This is one. One half. Negative one half. So minus a one half slope. One half slope. One half ramp. T minus and this ramp you start this ramp is here. This is three. This is a T minus three and U S of T minus three. You got this. This one is okay. This is this one. This is this one. The result is this one. And then you minus uh, ramp here uh, minus ramp here. One half right. You minus this, so you get this one. Right. You get this one. <coughs> All right, and then go to this point. This is five. You need a, if you do not add anything, it will keep going down. But now you need a street there, so you need a plus a ramp here. So you plus. This is also one half. T shifted by five. U S T minus five. Okay. Yeah, you try to get this, get these formulas. Uh, then things turn to be easy. Then G of S or equal to. Is it T? This the first term is just T. And this is just T. T by Laplace transform. You can check the table. There will be one over S square. Uh, we have a table here. You can find table from the. Okay. You can find table from the textbook or from the blackboard. Yeah. Uh, sorry, the computer. What's wrong? Oh, see. See, it's a lot. Yeah, the ramp. Uh, ramp is here, right? T. T. Give us one over s squared. T give us one over s squared, and then t give us one over squared. Then we need a minus. You see, this is also a ramp. A ramp 
but shift it by one. Okay, remember last time we have discussed the properties, the zero on um, Laplace transform. When we shift in time domain, we need a times. Uh, okay, here. You see, you shift. You shift by capital T, you need a times uh, e exponential power is negative Ts. Okay, e to the negative Ts on it. So now it is, this one is 0, 1 over s squared. You need a times e to the negative capital Ts. Now capital T is 1, so it's 1s. One and then this term is uh, square, I forget this. This term is minus one half this will be uh, one over s square e to the negative three s right shift device three and last plus one half e to the negative five s one over s square all right we get our result it's quite simple right you can see what is the result here the same I have these two are same right we get two different way we get two result these two are same these two are same right and uh, then 1 over s square e to the negative 5 yeah this this is also same right this is also same and this is 1 half s square is 3 it's also same oh we have two more terms these two this should be cancelled. Oh yeah, this is two times five is ten. This is ten. Right, it can be cancelled. Yeah, I didn't find. Yeah, this this is a five. Right? I thought I thought that this is s. This is five. So two five is ten. Ten three. Right, they could be cancelled. Okay, we have the same result. Right, two methods we have same result. But obviously, this method you you, you can get it quickly. Right, get it quickly because you use the table. Use the table. But of course, before you use the table, you need to rewrite the system, uh, rewrite the signal in this way, so that the table can be applied. All right. Uh, now let's check another example. Right. Example. I have a g of t looks like this. Here's a one, one, uh, not a one, one, uh, a two and a four, okay. Two, four, six, then A, and so on. Here's one. This is a T, this is a G of T. We suppose we have a signal like this. Then by Laplace transform, we want to find the G of S equal to what? This is our question. Uh, you know this signal, right? What it is? Shock tooth, right? Shock teeth, shock tooth. Okay, then of course you can get it by the definition. You do the integral. Every interval from 0 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6, you do the integral on this, this line. And then you can have a calculation, right? But of course, you know, this is even complex than our first example. You have so many integration, right? Infinite terms. Uh, they are similar, but they are different. You need to do some calculation on them. Now we use the table. We use same method here. Same method here. We try to realize this signal by a combine of some given signals. Okay, this is things like, first we start from ramp, right? No problem. So G of T equal to T. If you want, you can put the US of T. You can just put T is also fine. T will be signal just running like this. And then at time T equal to 2, now here's a T run from 0 to 2. Then from here, T equal to 2, you need a, you need to jump down, right? Jump down to here. Then you go to another ramp. So you see, you need to just jump down or whole curve, the whole whole straight line. You put move it straight straight down to this one. So it is uh, this one is uh, this part. It is 
minus u as of minus 1 actually right? this is 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 but start from here so this is a us of t minus 2 and then go to here when it is a 4 you need it going down again right so minus us of t minus 4 and the minus forever every 2 you need a minus a us unit step uh, you can write in a shorter way 1 minus summation of us of t minus 2k and k run from 1 to positive infinity it looks like this okay then the things turn to be simple capital g of s were equal to this is t that is a 1 over s square after the laplace transform and then you have infinite term you still have infinite terms this is a unit step shifted by 2k unit step give you 1 over s and shifted by 2k you have e to the negative 2k s alright you get it and uh, you can for simplify you can move these s in the front right all the terms in the summation you have 1 over s so this is a 1 over s squared minus 1 over s times the summation almost done if you just leave the answer like this is also fine but we can have more this is a 1 over s squared minus 1 over s we write it this is a, so many terms right the first term is e to the negative 2s second term is plus e to the negative 4s then plus e to the negative 6s and so on you suppose this is a that will be then this part is a plus a square plus a cube plus until infinity now what it is we know this is a times 1 over minus over 1 minus a it's just like this yeah you, you have formula this is a, a geometry series geometry series geometry geometric series and uh, series geometry series is a formula okay so This is uh, just an illustration. So this will equal to 1 over s squared minus 1 over s times uh, a over, now a is a e to the negative 2s over 1 minus a, a is a e to the negative 2s. Alright, so we get our answer. Right? Our answer is this one. <coughs> yeah, so with the, with the help of the table, we can. Uh, do this calculation quite uh, you know quite quickly yeah. you do integral you can imagine there's so many integration you need to calculate that costs you a lot of time yeah. make sense we can try another one I have a signal like this is periodically it's kind of a uh, triangular way but not uh, symmetrically as a G of T 2 3 5 6 uh, so here's 2 here's 1 here's a 2 I get 8 and 1 I get 9 and the 2 I get 11 and the 1 I get 12 like this like this this is G of T. Then what is the G of S? Level transform. Okay, we do the same thing. We start from G of T. We try to run, uh, write G of T in terms of, oh, here, I didn't give the value. So well, this is what? We try to write this in the signal which listed in the Laplace tables. So first one, this is ramp. So this is a T, but the slope is one half, right? this one and then here you see we need going down we need going down how much 
this is one and here is what what is distance from here to here you see this is a slope is one half right so here's a t go ahead one then the g will uh, this this direction coming up will be only half this is one half so this is one and one half so you need to going down one and one half 1.5 1 1.5 going down for one when t go ahead one here you need to jump by one and a half so you need a minus one and a half one and one uh, one and a half let's see it's three over five that's uh, three over two one one and a half right three over two we're going you're going down three over two in one when t go one so this is the, the ramp you need here the ramp you needed here and the ramp is t minus one minus three because this is zero when t equal to three it's a zero right t minus three and u s r t minus three yeah, because it's shifted to here okay you get this one and then next you need a ramp this ramp so what is this ramp you need coming up you need coming up you need coming up so what is distance here you see from here to here and here to here they are totally same right these two triangulars they are totally same so here's one half here's also one half so this this going down and this going up they are same ramp just the opposite direction this is going down this need going up so now I need a plus 3 over 2 and the shift in t minus uh, 3 and u s of t minus 3 hmm. oh this one will be do I am I good I guess something wrong oh sorry here's the ramp start from this this one is 2 here's a 2 yeah this is 2 yeah we, we, we need a change in direction here t equal to 2 so here's a 2 here's a 2 and then we change it direction at 3 so here's a 3 okay now it's good yeah otherwise they will be cancelled that's not good okay then we go to here right so this one is get these after this one we get these and now we get these and keep working on this one this one will be same with this is minus 3 over 2 and t minus we change the direction at 5 and u s of t minus 5 and plus 3 over 2 okay. this this point right we now go to here we need a 6 it's t minus 6 and u s of t minus 6 and then plus 8 and it's a minus 3 over 2 t minus 8 and u s of t minus 8 and uh, plus 3 over 2 t minus 9 and u s of t minus 9 and so on all right then we can perform Lapla transform we have capital G of s the first one is one half times 1 over s squared okay. the second one it is still 1 over s squared because it is a ramp but shifted and uh, with the coefficient 3 over 2 in front and shifted by 2 so e to the negative 2 s and 1 over s squared and plus 3 over 2 e to the negative now shifted by 3 1 over s squared and then plus 3 over 2 uh, let's see this is a minus plus minus plus no 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 positive the minus is a 2 then plus this is 3 and this oh this is minus yeah. minus this is a 5 and so on yeah I just leave it like this and then you you, you should want you know, do some simplify to put them together. The first term, 
Yeah, all of them. You have s square over two, right? All of them you have uh, in the denominator. One over two s square. Okay, this is first term, just this is first term. And then second term, okay, I must I miss the S. Uh, I have 2 and 3 and 5, and here should be 6. With 3 over 2 and minus. Can we find something? So all the positive terms, now all the negative terms, they are 2, 5, 8. Okay, yeah, I can put all the negative together. Negative terms together. Negative terms, they have negative 3 over 2 in the front, 1 over s squared, move this in front, and e to the negative 2s in the front. Then what, what will be the rest? This one, you move this totally out, you have 1. And this one, you move the coefficient at 1 over square per front. And this one, you move 2, you have 3. And the next will be, <coughs> will be 8. 8. <coughs> 8 will be e to the negative. 8 move 2, you have 6. And then the positive terms, this one. Positive terms, this one. So it's a plus 3 over 2, 1 over s squared, e to the negative 3 s. This one totally moved out. And then inside, this one totally move out. Then the next will be 6, move 3, you have 3. And next, after 6, next will be 9 move 3 out will be 6 left. Okay. okay. You see? This two are same. Yeah, the, then the things can be like this. So equal to 1 over 2 s squared. And uh, these two are same, so I put these two together. Oh, these two are also same. So I plus uh, I minus 3 over 2 s squared and then this one minus this one e negative 2 s minus e to negative 3 s and then the summation of these that could be 1 over 1 minus e to negative 3 s <coughs> yeah okay if you want to write it more shorter 1 over 2 s squared minus 3 of e to the uh, I can move this negative 2 s front. In the front, this is 1 minus e to negative s over 2 s squared times 1 minus e to negative 3 s. Okay, so the g of s or equal to this one. Alright, here's 1. Uh, here's nothing. Not, not, no, not 1. 3 times. 3 times. Okay, uh, that's all for today. Yeah, we have uh, three examples, and uh, the idea is you try to rewrite this signal in terms, actually here, this one in terms of ramp, and the uh, previous example, we write it in terms of ramp and the unit step, right? This one in terms of ramp and the unit step, and then we can apply the table to get the Laplace transform. Alright. Okay. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.